Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. So today's video is actually a recommendation by somebody. Uh, this guy wanted to know how to work with the layout property components in this library. Now it's a fairly robust and fairly um, solid component section in my opinion. It does exactly what you wanted and it does it as a pretty good job. Um, so let's go ahead and get started with the first thing. It's called container. And the container is exactly what you think it is. It is going to be a container that holds a basic layout property of what the app structure is going to look like. So in this case, we have a couple of basic examples of how it looks. This is the one that we're going to be building right here. It's going to be a header, content, and footer. And so after that, the next three examples are fairly similar. Uh, they just contain the side, side nav bar. Um, after that, we have the last two where you have the side nav bar contained within the header and the footer, which is opposite directions. And after that, we can see the examples. So this is what the side nav bar layout looks like. It looks fairly similar to the one that we made back in the Mantine course. And this is the one that we're going to be building today. Uh, we already built the navbar, so we will be building out a footer and some content inside of it just to place it in there. And we have a basic login page example. And after that, the divider is a very simple thing. It's just like horizontal line where you can either add text within the middle of the actual divider, or you can make the divider vertical to space out things like this. Cool. After that, we have the Flexbox grid. So the Flexbox grid is a very fairly common component in basically every single uh, mainstream component library. Material UI, Mantine, um, Ant Design, Semantic, all of them have uh, layout Flexbox grids available with them. And this is no different. Um, it does exactly what you want. It shows you how to work with Flexbox within the component library and it shows you snippets of code and how to work with it. And it's fairly simple on how to use. All you have to do is define a Flexbox grid parent component. Give it the prop of justify of what you want it to actually do. You can either have start, center, and space between, space around, basic Flexbox CSS um, um, items. And then after that, you have an individual item within that and how you want to space each item out. After that, you have some more examples of alignment, order, and responsiveness. So if I were to go into inspect really quickly, and if I were to make the browser a little smaller, we'll see that it does become responsive at a certain point like that right there. And so after that, we can see that we have the props for each Flexbox grid and the Flexbox grid item, what props are available to us. And I've never used grid or stack before, so I'm not going to talk about those. Um, I don't want to get any information wrong or teach anything that's incorrect. So let's go ahead and actually get our hands dirty and create ourselves a container with a header and a footer. Alrighty, so I've opened up my app and the first thing we have to do is we have to define a container. So this custom, we're going to be putting inside of our custom provider. And so what I'll do is use the container tag and import it from React Suite. And this container tag, think about it as your entire application. It's your container for your entire app, your header, footer, content, everything, uh, besides your custom provider, which is above it. And after that, we're going to define a header. So I'll do header from React Suite like so. And we're going to go ahead and encapsulate our nav bar within that bad boy. After that, we're going to define a container. Oh, not container, sorry, content. And inside of this content is, you probably guessed it, the content that's going to be displayed for the user. So for this content, I'm just going to do a simple uh, hello world. And we'll add some more information later on. And after that, we'll go, to, we'll, yeah, we'll go ahead and create our footer. And it's going to be really easy. All we're going to do is use a footer tag. And inside of here, I'm just going to add a simple text that says footer. Now, if we save this, we're going to see that it looks really, that looks really weird. That looks really ugly. What we have to do is we actually have to define some height to the actual container itself. Unfortunately, this is not like in other libraries where you have a container that can allow you to have your footer at the bottom automatically. You have to define what you want. So for the container, I'm going to do style. And for the styles, I'll do header. No, not header. Min height is equal to 100 bh, like so. And now we have our footer at the bottom. We have our content right here. And we have the header right up top. Now let's go ahead and add some information to our footer. So adding the information is a little bit trickier than I found in different component libraries. You really have to sort of work your magic around if you want to use just regular CSS. Um, so this is how this is going to go down. I'm going to be initially creating a list tag. Oops, not like that. With a capital L. And I'm going to import it from um, React Suite. 
and this list tag is going to contain all of our flexbox grid items so I told you we're going to be using a little bit of flexbox so all we're going to do is you good do flexbox grid like so and this flexbox grid is going to be equal to justify and it's going to be equal to space between like so and this flexbox grid is going to contain three um, three different columns so we have to do flexbox whoops flexbox grid item this is going to be our first item our first uh, column and I'm going to go ahead and copy this two more times like so and here I'll just type in here um, call one call two and call three so column one two and three and each of these are going to have their own individual stylings attached to it so firstly what we're going to do is we're going to give it as equal to capital C O L import it from uh, react suite and I'm going to go ahead and paste it into each beginning tag like so and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a call span so it's going to be spanning um, a certain distance so the call span is equal to six like so and I'll go ahead and copy and paste it into all of the other items like so so now if we save it we should see six three different columns like so perfect although this is not in the middle so to put it in the middle this is sort of a hacky way to do it but I'm just gonna give it a basic style um, ideally what you can do is you can give it a class name and you can define it from there um, but I'm gonna just go ahead and manually input it within the actual flexbox grid item of each parent tag Oops, not control F, I'm gonna do control D. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste the style right here. So the style, all it's gonna do is give it a margin bottom of five, give it some display flex, and justify it center. So now it'll look perfect, centerized like so. So if I were to make the browser a little bit bigger, we'll see that it is perfectly centerized all the way to the very minimum width. So the content that I'm gonna be putting within each of these flexbox items is again a little bit of a hacky way but um, it's going to be a bunch of list items within a list and the list items that I got from this was from my video that I made a couple years ago when I made a basic footer um, so all we're doing here is we are creating a list parent tag and inside of this parent tag is going to be a title thick memes incorporated with a list items so that's a list item right here with a random phone number, I don't even know what this, uh, that even is. A country with a random street, which I hope doesn't exist, um, or else I'm DDoSing or doxing them. Um, after that, for the next list item, same thing, it's gonna be a copy and paste from that video that I made a while ago. So we have a title, stuff, list item, dank memes, other stuff, good stuff. And finally, for the last column, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it right there like show and so now we have three different columns of list items that are actually compatible with dark mode and light mode very basic very basic styling and now we do want to have a um, a, a bottom like copyright um, prevention type of thing you know how you see in websites you have like all rights reserved terms of service privacy all that good stuff so the way that that's gonna work is it's very simple so outside of my whoops outside of my flex box grid right here I'm gonna create another flex box grid and this is gonna contain a flex box grid item oops there we go and before I do anything I'm gonna give my flex flex box grid a justify center so we can center everything so I'll do center like so and this flex box grid item will contain I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it I'm, uh, it's gonna be too much if I try to manually type it out it's gonna contain this p tag which is gonna contain and copy new date get full year so basically this is like uh, the at 2022 uh, thick memes incorporate all rights reserved terms of service privacy all that good stuff 
and there we go it's centered let me just go ahead and use some prettier to make it formatted perfect and so now if i make it in a big screen so now we have a header some content and our footer and if i zoom in a bunch we can see that the footer stays at the bottom no matter what if i go in dark mode light mode it is um, responsive to that as well perfect cool so now our app is starting to take a little bit of a shape so we have our header content and footer in the next video we're going to be learning about how to do react routing with this library and don't worry it's very simple i hope i actually haven't even made it yet but that's in the future if you enjoy this video be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one peace